Hey, welcome back to the bench. So this time I want to jump straight into a demonstration of the now Arduino controlled charge and constant current discharge unit. Um, since last time I've now added a TP4056 which is controlled by the Arduino which now when initiated will charge the battery before then switching over to a constant current discharge and logging the capacity of the battery. So as you can see I've changed the display slightly, the display now shows an I for idle and if we uh, place the battery in we now get a voltage so battery is currently at 3.91 volts excellent so if we trigger the battery now it jumps into seeing if there's a battery available on both slots and begins to charge and then as it can't find a battery on the second slot goes back to idle because I haven't got the second battery slot connected so I won't wait for the full cycle but as this gets through the the TP4056 will charge this up to 4.15 volts and soon as the current draw drops to I think it's below 100 milliamps the uh, the Arduino will detect when it switches over from uh, charged to charged and it turns off the TP4056 and then enables the discharge while we're here I've made one other modification which is the return of the uh, desktop fan some airflow over this heatsink to keep it cool while discharging was definitely needed and this has turned out to be more than enough to keep this heatsink nicely cool even through a 1 amp discharge so let's go through the modifications I've made to the circuit so let's just recap what we've done so far so we have our Arduino which now is controlling our MCP 4725 DAC which is feeding the input of our op amp and then our op amp is controlling a MOSFET which I can never remember how to draw properly I think it's like this and uh, which we have our resistor which connects back to the negative side of our cell and then over to our positive side so this now means the Arduino can set a voltage out on our digital to analog converter which sets the op amp to follow that voltage at this point so as we discussed last time uh, a 1 ohm resistor here and a 1 volt input at this point will cause 1 volt to be held here which means that 1 volt at 1, at 1 ohm should be 1 amp uh, to be able to protect the cell from over discharge we also have uh, one of our analog inputs reading this is A0 which is reading our voltage of the battery so as the battery discharges we can constantly check to make sure that the battery doesn't go below 3 volts and we don't over discharge that battery Now the next piece that I've added is now the addition of the TP4056 which also connects over this cell. Luckily the TP4056 has a chip enable pin on it. Um, on these small boards they are the the pin number 8 here if I remember correctly and just cutting the track on this allows me then to solder a connection off here over to one of the digital inputs on our board so I'm using D2 so now I have a way to enable and disable this at any point but I also need a way of knowing when this is charged 
There is also a, uh, a charging and charged output on this, uh, this board. So I have used the charge, which is on here, and I use D4 to connect to that one. What that means is when the charge at, um, pin on the TP4056 is enabled, it pulls this down to ground, which means that I've enabled the pull-up resistors on D4, so while this thing is charging, the this will be enabled, so I should get a zero at this point. When this thing is charged, this thing should go off, which means that then I should have a one at this point. So I can now detect whether the charge cycle is complete. I've modified the code again, I've uploaded that to GitHub, the link will be in the video description below. So now that we have this working for one battery, next time I want to look at making it work for more than two. We know that this uh, setup can do a charge and discharge of two batteries just by adding in the additional TP4056 and the additional resistors and MOSFET. Uh, but next time I want to figure out how we might make this work for four, eight, sixteen, maybe even 32 batteries at a time without hitting some of the issues with using large amounts of power that the TP4056 needs to charge batteries, at least one amp per cell. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.